Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you kind of my little collection of purchases I've made the past week. I went to Sally's, um, my order from um, Bath & Body Works came in, and I went to Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm going to start with Sally's first. The Sally's that I used to go to is pretty far away. Now, I've noticed that there was one right around the corner, so I stopped in, and I picked up some nail polish. I am not one that typically paints my nails very often. Um, it will become kind of like a habit for me, and I will become really addicted to it. So I, you know, I'll do it every now and then, but then I have to kind of put it away so I don't constantly paint over and reapply. Um, I picked up some China Glaze. I've never used China Glaze before, um, and so far, that's what I have on right now, and this is Go Crazy Red. So far it has stayed on. There's a few little bits chipping off. This is a couple of days that I've had this on for. This one is Go Crazy Red. And my camera is probably going to spaz out if I get too close. Go Crazy Red. And then I got Iguana Blue. And it's all sparkly and shimmery. And White on White. Now I know that Say Anything Brooke has talked about China Glaze before. This is excellent nail polish. Um, it hasn't flicked off. It hasn't stained my fingernails, which cheaper nail polish does. So I, I'm not, you know, I'm not always adventurous to try new brands, but I've tried cheap stuff before and unfortunately my nails were orange because I painted them orange for a football game. And it really looked horrible after that so I really had to paint over it with something that I knew wasn't going to stain. These have not stained on my nails. They're perfect. Um, I don't see you know any brush strokes. They don't spread or anything. <clears throat> it's nice and I don't know it's a nice polish. I, I will definitely go back and buy more. It, it was inexpensive. It was $5.99 or you can get two for ten. So you know save a dollar or whatever. Two dollars. Um, I got some Stripe Right, so I could maybe do some, I was going to do like little candy canes or some leaves, but I decided against it. And the nice thing is, I'm not good at this at all. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now. I am horrible, but practice makes perfect. So definitely if you practice, you will get better at it. Um, winter time, I usually uh, will wear closed toed shoes, so I practice on my toenails. That way I have a bigger nail to work with, especially on your big toe. And so it'll be better for me to practice on that. Now I did buy two clear coats. I got one that's a hardener and one that's a tough coat. And I'm not like super duper impressed with them. I'm using them now. They're on my nails. And they're okay. I actually use this, which is, I'm going to pronounce it. I know I'm not going to get it right. Is it C.J. Vite? Um, this is a miracle. This is the only way my nails will get long. So if you've never tried this product, and I know it's kind of hard to see because the bottle's clear, then you need to try it, especially if you have problem nails. I don't know if that's going to actually pick up or not, but definitely try it. And if anybody knows the secret of getting all of it out of the jar, out of the bottle, I will be glad to listen because I have... I get to the, about that point and then I have to get a new a new bottle because it starts to get real thick. Okay, so that is what I got for my nails. I probably will go back and get some more China Glaze because I am very happy with that um, nail polish and that brand. I've never tried it before. And OPI does not stay on my nails and I've used some other brand that's real popular too and I can't remember it offhand and it does not stay on my nails. Um, typically, I've had to use cheap polish, um, Rimmel, or Rimmel, I don't know how, which way you want to pronounce it. Um, I've used that before, and it actually stays better on my nails than OPI does. So, go figure. Um, what I got from my purchase, I talked about it the last time on my other video. I got two kitchen spice candles, which I love. This is just a basic kind of... It's, I don't want to say it's a bakery scent, but it's got all of the spice in it. Um, a comforting mixture of nutmeg, allspice, hazelnut, and caramel. 
it's just a nice uh, year-round scent to me. I could burn that all the time. I actually do have one out here that I've been burning. Um, but I wanted to stock up because it, sometimes it goes out and then I can't find it. They had a contest a while back for the best recipe. And this is one of the winners. This is Sticky Toffee Pudding. And on the bottom it says, a rich tempting treat that combines melted toffee, pure maple syrup, and toasted pecans topped with brown sugar and whipped cream. Now, I had a chance to smell all three of them. And this was my favorite. This reminds me of French toast with butter and whipped cream on it. I don't know why I would want that in a candle, but that's what this reminds me of. And I know my husband doesn't like the maple syrup scent, but oh my goodness gracious, that just, it's so good. Um, and I've seen other people got the different ones. I think there's a tangerine cake and a something of vanilla pistachio delight or something. I don't know. But this was the only one that I liked out of the three of them. So I am definitely, candles are two for 20 right now up until the 24th of December. I'm picking up some more of these and I'm going to pick up the next one too because after I actually got this in, I decided, you know what? It really does smell good. This is going to be a Christmas gift, but I think for myself, I'm going to go buy some too because it's fabulous. You could use this year round. It's Vanilla Bean Noel. And the bottom says a delicious blend of fresh vanilla bean, warm caramel, and rich comforting cream. So it is very good. I, I, and you know, if you've used the lotion, that's what it smells like. And I don't know if I showed you the bottom of that one. So I'm going to do it again. This was my favorite one, though, out of all three. And I am going to go buy some more because they are two for 20. And it's great to pick them up when they're two for 20. If you need something and you're in a pinch, it's great to have them on hand. You can just wrap them up, put them in a bag, and send them on their way. Um, it's definitely worthwhile. Um, I would never pay full price for a candle. I actually purchased these when they were two for 25, but I also had a $10 off coupon and free shipping, so I wasn't worried about it. All right, the last things that I picked up were some spring scents for 2012 from Yankee, but I actually got them at Bed Bath & Beyond. This one is Beechwood. Beach flowers, and these actually remind me a lot of summer than they do spring, but fl flowers, I guess, springtime. And then Mayor Lemon. Oh my gosh, am I saying that wrong again? Meyer lemon? I keep, I have a friend who is, it's both at the same, but it's pronounced differently. So anyway, um, to run through them real quick, true rose, of course, smells like a rose. It smells like rose water to me. If you've ever tried, um, I think it's Crabtree and Evelyn. I have some oils that you put on your lamp and it's in rose water. That's what it smells like to me. Um, I am not a floral person. Beach flowers, amazing. It's sweet. It's not powdery. It really reminds me of like being on like a tropical oasis. So I, I don't foresee this being spring, but definitely probably going to buy this. Definitely, probably. Well, that doesn't make sense. I am more than likely going to buy this one in a tumbler because it's fabulous. Beach wood, not so impressed with. But this is also cold. I just kind of cut the side so I can smell it. And it's all right. It smells, I definitely get like a, a beach. It almost smells kind of like the ocean water. But you know what? It reminds me of soap. Just like a clean soap. So I'm going to have to melt that one before I can give you a full detail. And of course, this is going to be my favorite one. I can tell. It's, creamy lemon it's not like you know sterilizing the floor lemon so this is probably one i'm going to stock up on just because i love yankee and i know that they have a lot of scents and you know unfortunately that my candle my jar candles and my tumblers are not really burning well they're burning nicely but their fragrance is not throwing very well for me so probably going to stock up more on tarts than I am on anything else. 
Oh, that smells so good. So that's my little haul, and I know it's kind of a mixed matched thing. Just stay tuned for reviews on all of this stuff. I'm probably not going to review the nail polishes on here. I'll probably just have that on the blog. Um, but the candles and the um, tarts I'll definitely review. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, subscribe, comment, whatever. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Facebook. I try to be everywhere just so, you know, whatever you like, I can be a part of that. And maybe you'll be able to read my blog or whatever the case may be. So um, until next time, take care.